Okay, in this video we're going to look at how you can create an exploded or assembly drawing. First of all, I want to check I've got all the parts I need. My table has got one, two, three, four parts, and I can see one, two, three, four uh, bodies representing those parts there. I've named them all already. If you don't see the amount of uh, bodies of parts that you need, you probably, when you've extruded it, didn't change it to new bodies. So you need to find the extrusion just by hovering over your timeline. If you find the right one, right click it, go to edit feature, and make sure it says new body in here. If it says join, that's probably where your problem is. Make sure that says new body. And if you do that, you should end up with the amount, right amount of parts. Now to explode it apart, really, really simple. I want to explode parts in the direction that they would be assembled, hence the name assembly drawn. So this top here is gonna be uh, moved up or moved down when I'm assembling it. So I right click it, go to move. I recommend you only use the arrows to move things. So I'm gonna use that arrow to move that up. And essentially, that's my exploded drawing there because that would be how it would be assembled. The top would come down onto those pieces. All these pieces would go up, but it's on the same plane. If uh, I have pieces that would have come out the side here, then I would choose that body and explode it out to the right to show that that's how it would assemble. So I'm happy with that. It's just, it's exploded as much as it needs to be. I'm going to go to render. I get that to an angle that looks good for the drawing that I want. And then I could just do go through the process of rendering, which I showed in the previous video, to get a nice good quality image for your work, which you can then annotate to give uh, information on joining and manufacture.